What's up, guys? Welcome to the stream. Welcome to Northwoods Angling. Live. We're in Minnesota. We're catching channel catfish on shore. We're here to answer any questions. Hopefully, we're going to catch some fish. We got some cup bait. We got some worms. And if you're watching this on the 27th of September, this is a live video anytime after. It isn't live anymore. But welcome to the stream, guys. Make sure you always go check out our normal content on our channel, guys. We got full production videos on there too for you, but welcome to the stream. <laughs> Let me get my lens back on here. There we go. Wide angle lens is engaged. Why is it green? I don't like that. I need to fix this lens. I don't know what's going on. I don't like the... It's giving me kind of a... Weird... I think that'll work right there. What's going on, guys? I need to get my uh, rod set up here. And we're going to catch some fish. That's the goal. Josh Williams, finally not me, one of those Tom, got me one of those Tommy rods. <laughs> Michael Hogan, thank you so much for the $20 donation. We appreciate that very much, sir. Thank you so much for the donation. If you guys are new to the stream, we travel all over North America. We fish for the big ones, you know? We go for the big fish. Today I'm out here with my buddy Dan, and uh, we're gonna catch some fish. We're gonna catch a few fish for you guys. What kind of rod and reel are you using? I'll show you the one we're using. Is your rod in? Nope, I'm not in yet. All right, here's the rod and reels we use. Typically, these are, uh, this is my favorite one, actually. This is the Tomcat Custom. Um, we call this the Matrix Green. It's my, one of my favorite rods he makes. This is the Flat Black Heavy. Um, beautiful, beautiful rod. This is hooked up with, uh, looks like Suffix 832, probably 80 pound. Yep. And um, this is a Pen Fathom LW20. Beautiful reel. 25, this one's bigger. I was gonna say, it looks a little bigger. LW25. And we're running standard rigs tonight, guys. We're running just standard Carolina rigs. This is a monoliter, it's snelled. It looks like it's a tight snell too. So it's a little over snelled, but it works. It works. It's a straight presentation on it, so when the hook's vertical, you got a straight presentation, and that's a lot of the time you run snells with mono. You don't really run snells with braid, but the shaft does not get tension right on the shaft of the hook, so you have a better. It's just better overall to run snells with mono leaders. But what's up, Muddy River Catfishing, my boy, Chris Flores? What's going on, brother? Are those rods 1995? They are, I think, 155 bucks, and this is the heavy model. But oh, they're beautiful. Let me, uh, what's up Catfish Bill? How you guys doing tonight? How's everyone doing? Welcome to the YouTube Live. YouTube Live. All right, you got some bait on there? Yeah, I got a head ready. Let's show them what we're doing here. You want any worms with it or not? No, nope, we'll put worms on mine. We'll put cut bait on yours. All right guys, here's the deal. That is a Pen Fathom LW25, yes. So here's what we're doing. We got the sucker. Um, creek chub looked like a sucker at first. Creek chub head that's going right on the circle hook. You want you want hook gap, guys. That's important. Jeez, that's no joke. Let's see if I can't go through my hand. You want some hook gaps. You don't want to fill. You don't want. Jesus, that lens is kicking me out, pissing me off. You don't want to fill the the hook. To fill the gap with the hooks you want to leave your gap open on the hook it makes for an easier way to set in the hook so what we got here guys <clears throat> this is very different than normal so water's up about 15 feet from normal right now right um we're right on a bend we're right on a channel swing right where the current hits the shore right over here so we're right on the front side of this channel swing the water's a lot slower right here and out there in the main current that channel is the current's cooking. We're, we're throwing 50,000 CFS right now compared to like a normal 6,000. So it's really, really high. Um, 
but we're right before the swing. So the water here is relatively slow in comparison to the rest of the river. We got good depth, but she's up real high and she's up really, really high right now. Um, but I'm going to get this rod in and I'll show you guys kind of what we're doing here. I think you guys can see me. All right. So I'm not throwing this one too far out. I'm going to throw my other one out a little bit further. Why isn't it focusing? That lens is making me so mad. Dude. I need to fix my focus problems here. And I know why it's doing it. I just gotta fix it. I might take the lens off. I might take the lens off. This one, I'm actually going to backhand it, kind of pull. No, I'll just do this. It's about 10 feet right offshore here, guys. So he's right off the bank. I'm actually going to throw mine out further. I'm going to actually put like an 8 ouncer on, which I'm going to get. Camera won't let us see your secrets. <laughs> I need to get rid of this lens. This lens is pissing me off. There we go. That's all right, isn't it, guys? <laughs> what a piece of crap. That is really annoying. I'm going to get some weights on mine. No clickers. We're tight lining with circle hooks tonight, guys. No circle. But I'm gonna put an eight ounce. He's got a four. He's got a four ounce. Oh my gosh, my focus is just, it's gonna be the end of me. He's got a four ounce on his rod I put out. Then I'm gonna have an eight ounce on mine. I'm actually gonna go out a little further. How's the diet? You look great, man. Hey, I appreciate it. Uh, 68 pounds down last week. I'm gonna get a bigger weight. Give me one second. Yeah. Don't be shy to dig in there. It's not a purse. And there's some stumps around here. How's everyone doing tonight? Welcome to this horrible focus of a stream. Oh my gosh. Maybe I'll turn the camera around. The back camera's probably better. I'm getting a headache. <laughs> yeah, it is better without the lens. Got my sturgeon bell on still. And this is the same rig that uh, Dan has on his. And the only difference with mine is I run a braid leader. I run a braid leader and I'm gonna run an eight ounce weight. So I'm gonna run a little heavier. It's an eight ounce bank sinker right here, guys. Big deals, right? Big deals. Jonathan Bevins, what's going on? Wow, great job, Luke, bringing sexy back. You're dang right, Bill. You're dang right. How's everything, Bill? QC snapper cats, sapper cats, what's going on? <laughs> Kyle's getting a headache. Hopefully your headache goes away from my the blurriness. Orange hats in yet? No, they should be very soon, though. They should be very soon. Marysville, Ohio. Matt, welcome to the stream, man. Welcome. So what I'm doing on this one, I'm just... Is that a fish? Might want a bigger weight. What's weird is like, see the current's backwards now? The current's like changing right here. So I'm just stacking a bunch of worms on here. Where do you get those flat bank sinkers from my garage? I have about 200 pounds worth. I melt them myself. I make all my own sinkers from three ounce all the way up to 20. We don't need, you could probably run a 20 in the middle of the river here, but we wouldn't be fishing in the middle. Could have brought like a 12, a 12 would have worked. What's up, Petey, how you doing, man? Welcome to the stream. Are you going to the Croy this weekend? I gotta go pick up my new car in Kansas City, Brady. Um, 
Maybe Sunday? Maybe Sunday, I don't know. But I gotta get my new car. Uh, I'm gonna start my build here pretty soon. So however long that takes. I'll be gone all day Saturday, I'm sure, so. All right, one on the bank killing them catfish yet? We're on the bank right now. Everett's has good selection of flat sinkers. Yeah, they probably do. Do you ever do any bass fishing? I do, bad bassing, I do. Uh, I've done more. I've done more bass streams on Twitch, but we do do we have a we have a video a bass fishing topwater video on our channel. We're gonna be doing more bass fishing, especially smallmouth. Um, we've gone to a river close by here a lot a couple times and haven't got a show from there. But fishing's been all right. It's just been hasn't been good enough to put a video out on YouTube yet. Fishing's been bad here. Holes empty and cold at night. Good buddy in a new Prague is selling his 1300 horsepower Supra. Just did it, do it. I'd get to the crow quick. Wait, he's st it's for sale right now. Is it a what gen Supra is it? Might be on the crow this weekend. I got drawn as an alternative for a trip for vets. Oh, nice, nice. So here's what I'm running, guys. We got cut Creek Chub on his, and I'm running straight up crawlers. We got one on a crawler the other night, so. You guys have any channel cat questions? I so I started catfishing uh, 12 years ago from the bank, and I bank fished for many years before I got a boat. So, I mean, I grew up fishing the banks, fishing for cats, specifically on the Red River of the North. But um, honing in and finding channel cats on the bank is I'm pretty decent at. The water's super flooded right now, so I'm not exactly sure how it's gonna go, but we're gonna give her a shot. That current slows down and picks up. You notice that? Yep. That's pretty wicked. We need to make a journey back to the other side. Where? Back there. I don't know. We'll try this for a little while and see what happens. Good cast. <laughs> I just lobbed it like 20 feet from shore. I could probably get to the middle of the river, but it wouldn't. It would just go down river. So we're on the Minnesota River, fourth gen. Sick. Gonna try cherry chicken on those. Got to try cherry. <laughs> no. <laughs> I'm good. I'm good. I mean, I believe it works, but. I'm gonna stick away from the chicken. Buy a mold for them. Good, could, could get use info, uh, uh, bottom dwellers tackle. You can get all the do it molds you want for sinkers. What's your favorite type of catfish? Probably blue cats or probably blue cats. And eventually it'll be red tail cats and Mekongs and all the other ones that I'm gonna catch. Wells, hopefully in the next year here. <clears throat> Bottom dwellers, sapper cats. Yep. I'm here to support everyone's channel. ASAP Fishing One, welcome to the stream. Thank you, brother. Jeans and a hoodie, love this weather. <laughs> What's up, Zach? You feeling better from the surgery or what? Hopefully you are. Hopefully you are. We got any lady fishermen in here today, guys? Any lady fishermen in here? How many pound test line do you have? I have 50 on mine. He's got 80 on his. Mine's an old channel cat rod I used to use a lot, but um, right now just 50 and 80. Show us how it's done. I'll show you. Can you make me a weight? I cannot. Mike Rowe, what's going on, Mike? Welcome to the stream. Time for smaller pants? Yeah, I have my belt real tight right now. Real tight. I'm Sun caught his biggest cat last summer. I'm Sun. Primal Outdoor. Is that your son? What? No, he wouldn't be on here. He's three. Yeah. <laughs> Nothing beats flatheads. <laughs> I, 
live by flatheads, so I'd probably say I'd probably say blue cats are my favorite. I've never caught a blue cat, but just in general. Looking great, Luke. Tell Kilch hi. Thanks, Jacob. Kilch says, uh, Jacob says hi. Hello. You want to come in here and introduce yourself? This is Kilch, guys. Look at his sweatshirt. What a supporter. This is one of my good buddies. He's Can't the, get this one He's anymore. the bomb.com. He's another Twitch streamer, guys. He fishes, and he's a good buddy of mine. And everyone welcome Mr. Kilch to the stream. Hey, guys. He's, uh, we're going to catch some fish. Samantha Pickett. Let's go. You're trolling for the ladies. Yeah, you got a once in a while. <laughs> Sam's in here. She fishes. I love to fish. I only eat catfish. I don't eat really much catfish. Is the kilch there? Oh, he's here. Oh, Mike here. Crow, is that uh, Ryan? Mike Crow. No, he's like toasted something. Oh, yeah. I forget. I've never had good luck with channel cats for weeks now. The river has been in constant flood stage and nothing is biting. Yeah, we got one the other night, uh, Nate and Mark. We got one the other night on the other side of the road. So if we don't get one here, we might end up going to the other side of the river while we stream. I mean, why not, right? We'll just I'll just jump in the back of his truck and we'll go. We'll make the move across the road. <laughs> What's up, Julia? How you doing? Is it getting down there, bro? Is what getting down there? The weight? Oh yeah. 118 pound channel. Nubj says hello. What's up, Nubj? Word, fellas, having just just having a cold. Nice. What's up, Mike? 150 watching and only 26 likes. Yeah, you're probably right, guys. Thanks for the thumbs up for all of you that have. If you haven't, even if you don't like it, give it a thumbs up. Give it a thumbs up. Blue cats do fight. Yeah. Liar. <laughs> yeah, I did catch one one blue cat over 100 pounds, but that's about it. <laughs> I think Jacob's in chat, guys. If you have any editing questions, professional camera questions, Jacob is in chat. He's under Northwoods Angling. So if you guys have any questions on our cameras, our lights, our mics, Jacob's in chat, guys. So feel free to ask him any questions. You do at Northwoods Angling, and it'll you'll see it. Any luck yet? We just started. We just started fishing. Our rods just went in right here. Now we just got to catch a fish. I did bring my filming light just in case stuff gets crazy. You know what I mean? Luke, come to Alabama. I live on Wheeler Lake. Monster blue cats. I've we filmed there. A couple. I've been there three times now. It's awesome. I'll be there here. I'll hopefully be there this winter for winter blues. Just came in. Came from Sirius. Nice. Carolina Lip Rippers, what's going on? Oh, Mike. Oh, oh, it's Mick. Mick1956 is Mike Rowe. What's up? I didn't realize that, dude. I'm an idiot. It's free, like, it free to like the stream, guys. You're dang right it is. It's free as heck. <laughs> what's up, Wade? <laughs> You guys deserve all thumbs up. Hey, snapper, snapper cats, thank you so much. We just got to catch a fish now. I'm building some rods for ice sturgeon for the crow. The winter right now. Building some rods for ice sturgeon on the crow. Oh, I hope to see you out there. Oh, you'll see me on, you probably won't see me on the crow, but I will be ice fishing on the crow. I stay incognito and I hide when we're ice fishing and where we go. What bait you using? Worms and creek chubs. Um, what editing program do you use, Jacob? That's Jerome Allen wants to know. He uses Adobe After Effects, Adobe Premiere, or something After Effects, Adobe Premiere. I think I know that. Keep an eye out for me. I'm floating the river in a sweet kayak. <laughs> I got my new kayak yesterday, guys. Put a graph on it. It's cool. And a Bednar. Jeez, all the Bednars are in here. What's what is your dad in here too, or what? This is a PG stream, so you're all right here. Yeah, I'll be in the Wheeler Blue Cat Journey to see you there. Yeah, if I can make it there, I'll be there. Where's the orange hats? That's a Peter question, but they should be here soon. Brian Lanham, what's going on? Have you ever fished in Georgia? I have not. Um, 106 yesterday was hot. 106. Anna Bednar, jeez. The whole fam. They're all here. Incognito, I found a spot. You took Chris and John B and five. Oh, yeah. We purposely took them to that spot in the daytime on purpose 
we don't fish there. <laughs> we don't want to show people where we fish. To 500,000 people that watch their videos. People watch John B's videos, so when we took him in the day, we let him know we're not going to the good spots till, till a little later in the day, so it worked, see? <laughs> it worked. We have two pink hats in stock, so if you need ladies fish and you want a pink, a pink one like this, pink hat, a little cleaner, brand new, we got two left in our shop, guys. Dad? Son? <laughs> I knew it. Have you ever fished the nasty Skyoto? I've never heard of the nasty Skyoto. Is that by the Skyoto? <laughs> we gotta catch a fish here. We might have to move across the road. Are you my dad? Yes. What's up, fellas? How are you doing out there on the way? Hey, Baron, good to see you. That's the first real, real normal question I've ever seen you ask. Thank you for being here, brother. It's going good. It's going good. We're shore fishing tonight. I gotta get my filming light on. Is that wind hurting you guys? Almost bought the kayak, then the price went up. It went up? We hit that time right on the kayak. <laughs> Watch out, Bigfoot. He right behind you. Yeah, he is Bigfoot. <laughs> Every time I look away, Tommy Rod is right when I get a bite. Got a 34 inch on that spot in a half hour. My first through the ice. Yeah, we don't fish there. 50 or plus. 50 or bust, right? Isn't that the rule, fishing fool? Want to send you some night lights for your rods to try out? Need a dress or P.O. box? All right, you can email us. Um, Northwoods Angling at Gmail. Good blue and flathead in the Flint and Chattacoochee rivers. Rocky Klitsky, what's going on? Thank you for the good luck, brother. Hopefully you're doing well, you and your mother. If your mom's there, tell her hello. I love her new tattoo. Good luck, fellas. Take care and be safe. I'm getting messages while I'm on YouTube. This is not good. Close. Got a 42 on shrimp at that spot. This spot? No. Be out Saturday? Oh, you're asking Jacob. Did you hear that 10-year-old kid who broke the catfish record on Lake Conroe, Texas? 55 pounds? I have not, Mike. I have not heard that. I will support back. He is, but he is not watching. Okay. He should be watching. It's his YouTube channel. You tell go go get your dad and get him to watch. Um, where are we at? Just the guys I want to see. I have questions. Ask away. Hey, just tuned in. Sorry I'm late. You're good. You're good. All right, I got to get my filming light, guys. What's up, Farron? Give me one second. I'm going to get my filming light. I just got to put batteries in it. Thing's a lifesaver, guys. Can I get a notification when you hook up? Yeah, you, I would recommend leave it running and you'll hear fish on when we get one. That's my suggestion. Mr. Chris, are you still in here? Extend my light, guys. This is one of our filming lights. We have three of these. But with our new camera, with our new camera, we don't need uh, lights like this. But I do on my phone. You didn't miss anything yet, Maurice. Nothing yet. the real deal it's a little bright I'm a little flushed out Jacob was the new camera you was I can tell you that oh yeah hey guys welcome to the stream 
Out here on the Minnesota River here with Kilch Outdoors. We're just hammering down the channel cats here. Kevin Fleshman, what's going on? Let's see if I recognize your name. <laughs> Great channel, guys. Ohio Catfisher, thank you so much. We appreciate it. So eager to see how the future night videos turn out. Me too. Our new camera is a Sony A7S Mark II. Need advice on shallow water cats on the Verde Grass and Candy Rivers in Northeast Oklahoma. I'm losing home. What do you? What kind of catfish are you fishing for, and how shallow? What's the main channel and depth in the river? What's up, Tommy? The river looks pretty swift. How many ounce are you? I'm using eight ounce, and I'm not even holding out. So, Luke, I'm subscribed. Anna, thank you so much for the sub. I appreciate that. Brandon Majors, what's going on? How's it going, guys? How's everyone doing tonight? Welcome to this. <laughs> Let me tell you guys. It's a pretty special stream. I haven't live streamed in a while, so this is on YouTube. This is good. This is good. Jacob, was the new camera using the guard trip? How long does the light last? This light? Uh, three hours or so. I don't know if they're all charged up all the way. I have it on 20%, so it'll probably go longer. Terry Waddle, what's going on? You didn't miss anything, Maurice. Nothing at all. We're fishing for channel cats on the bank of the Minnesota River. She's high. She's real high right now. She's real fast. Thank you guys for all the thumbs up. Thank you guys if you're brand new to the stream. Make sure you go check out our channel. We do full production shows. Uh, Jacob does an amazing job at editing videos. Alligator gar, uh, blue cats, flatheads, salmon, steelhead, um, white sturgeon, lake sturgeon, sharks. Uh, we pretty much fish for everything that's big. So if it's big, we fish for it. So we got full production shows. Make sure you guys go check that out. If you enjoy it, you know, hit that sub button, guys. Remington, what's going on? Remington Whitworth with the shout out. There you go. I smell a skunk. You're probably right. But who knows? You never know. Brenda in here? Where's Brenda? Where did you get that light? Uh, Amazon. Amazon or eBay? What Honda are you picking up? I miss it. I'm picking up an EK hatch. <laughs> I tried to get it. Alright. We got Well, you don't have to hold it. We just got to put something on the back leg. And my blue bag will work too. This one's the collar. Well, there goes the light. There goes the light. All right. Uh, where did you get that light? I think it was on eBay. I think we have the links to our lights in our videos on our YouTube. So, Jacob, if you're in here, can you put the description of the video in? I totally forgot. Jacob is my hero and mentor. He's Yeah, he's mine too. Go for crappie on or try it. Porta Catusa for deep water cabbage. I don't know where that is. Sounds lovely though. New to the channel, what area are you in? We are in the Minneapolis, Minnesota area. We're shore fishing for channel cats at the moment. You know, we're just giving it all we got. Trying for flathead and larger channels, average depths on Vertigas and Caney. So that's a pretty deep river. That's not that shallow. I mean, if you're fishing for flatheads, just find any structure on the off current. You'll find flats. I mean, that's where they go. And later in the year, they go towards the rocks more on the cuts. Luke, look at my channel. I flooded out three feet in miles. You flooded out, Petey? Are you in the Carolinas or what? Hey, I want to know, are you going to the fair this year? And what kind of rides are you going to ride on this year? I heard the fair's over. I did not go. Been just waiting on Twitch like an idiot. Dude, yeah, YouTube, not Twitch. Sorry, Justin. J-Cal. Up for the live stream. Hey, applesauce, thank you so much. Jonathan, best catfishing Oklahoma on Grand River, too. <laughs> Beach bum hillbilly, how you holding up today, Petey? Light fell over. It did fall over. It definitely fell over. You're the best. Did you know that? Anna, you're the best. Thank you. Thank you so much. Your dad telling you what to say? Tell you, telling you to speak the truth? <laughs> We're using worms and uh, cut creek chubs. Hello, Northwoods Anglers team. What's going on, Hillbilly Catfishing? How you doing, man? Oregon here, long ways away. October and cool weather. Fishing every day, what's going on? Bee walleyes. 
Dang, man, we could catch some walleyes here. Touchdown. Viking score. Can you guys give me updates on Viking scores as this stream goes on? Thank you. You guys going musky? Any? We are, Brenda. We are going very soon for musky, yes. What's up, Mod City? What's up? Get some ones in the chat. <laughs> Where's Jesse? I should have told him I was going live. I don't, I don't know. He might be streaming right now. You need another Missouri River monster? Tommy, I agree. I agree. We're going. I'm going to the Missouri soon. I'll be in Kansas City Saturday. So, if anyone wants to meet up for lunch, Kansas City area, let me know, guys. Confluence is fun watching walleye guys mark fish and try to jig in for carp and channels. <laughs> yes. I'm at. I'm at. I'm been right out of where I live, Brady. Right at the bridge. Head into the Ohio for some skipjack. Oh, I love skipjack so much. Where y'all at? We're in the Minnesota River, Kelly. We're in the Minnesota River. You're not hunting sturgeon, not tonight. A little windy. It's the wind actually picked up, and I knew it was gonna. That's why I didn't go fish sturgeon. And my boat wasn't ready, and I had knew I had to work a long day. So, what is a cut chub? Can we see one? Sure can. Oh, guys. I think these are my roommates, but. These are creek chubs, right here. They're frozen. Catch them in the creeks, you just cut them up. You just cut them up, chunk them up, and uh, then you're good. You put them on a circle hook, golden, right? Golden. Primal just be having, I know what you're talking. Yeah, I wanna head to PA too, Pennsylvania. I got so many trips planned. Taking cover while my mom is watching Grey's Anatomy. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> 7 -0 Vikings. Skull. Luke, y'all still got to come down. We can hit up Santee. I know. I want to fish Santee real bad. I want to fish it. Good luck, Luke. Mitchell Jones, thank you so much. Hello again from Bowling Green, Kentucky. What's going on in Kentucky? The Potomac is way high right now, and it's still raining. Dude, it's crazy high here, too. Courtney Walker. What's going on, Courtney? How's it going? Any luck? No. We just, while well, we fished for 32 minutes, no, probably 30 minutes. I'll tell you what. We haven't caught a fish yet. We might go across the street because we got a channel across the street like two nights ago. So maybe we'll go over there after this. We'll just walk the light over there and shout out, please. I already shouted you out. You only get one in the stream. Any bites? Not yet. You're from the Kansas City area? I'm not. I'm going to Kansas City to pick up a car. I'm going to go get my new car on Saturday. Oh, Honda. Yeah. <laughs> How's the bugs out there? No bugs, Kelly. No bugs. It's a little cold now. Best kind of catfish in early fall? Man, I'd rather be sturgeon fishing tonight, I'd be honest with you guys. I'd rather be sturgeon fishing right now. Next live stream will be sturgeon. I can tell you that right now. We'll be catching them too. What's up, Luke? Can you say hi to my niece for me, please? What's your niece's name, Tommy? I mean, I will. I don't know her name. <laughs> What's up, Virginia? How you doing, man? Why cut the bait? Why not use the whole creek chub in targeting big fish? No, we're targeting channel cats. They're scent feeders more than... We want the scent to be rolling through the water. That's the main thing, reason why you, why you cut bait instead of use full bait. Water clarity is about zero. It's flooded. Uh, cut bait's gonna be your go-to bait for scent, so that's why we're running cut bait. I always run cuts for chance. Very rarely do I ever use live bait for channel cats, but for flatheads, I use live bait all the time. They have more sensory towards vibration and liveliness over scent, unlike channel cats. If you travel to PA, you can swim by us. Oh, it'll be flying there, whisker sticks. There'll be no driving to PA. I can tell you that right now. We'll be flying. Good luck tonight. Hope you catch the big one. Hey, Top Tactic, thank you so much. Hey, is that Top Tactic? Brother Joe? Joe Brother? Top Tactic Fishing Chat Cats is Brother's Channel? Is that who that is? I believe it is. If it is, if you guys haven't checked out Top Tactic, it's Mr. Uh, Chat Cats Fishing's twin brother. They look identical. Welcome to the stream, by the way, brother. Speaking of your brother, I'm supposed to easy a hold back to hold of me. You message him right now. You tell him to get back to me. I'm ready to go fish Chattanooga. 
Hey, I want to know who is going to win on Sunday NFL. I only care about today's game. Right now, Baron, Vikings game. The Rams versus the Rams. And that's, that's what matters. And the Wild, which he was at the first preseason game yesterday. So when Catfish today caught four small ones, Stephen, were you fishing channel cats? Are they starting to move since the cold moved in? Um, I haven't been fishing catfish as much, to be honest, but I would. This would be a place I would target them when the water's like this. So, um, right up above here is slack water. Right down below is super fast, and in between is really thick brush, and we can't really fish it, unfortunately. Doing fine. Good. Good. Sorry, Carly. So you have shovel nose sturgeon here in the Mississippi. We have shovel nose and lake sturgeon. Yes. What size hook do you use? Colton Campbell? Well, right now we're running six odds. When I go up to the Red River uh, for the bigger channel cats, I'm going to be running eight, mostly eight odds. Um, but sixes are okay too. But you can usually fit bigger frogs and better bait on an eight odd. You get, keep that hook gap. That's what you want when you're running circles tight line. You want to make sure you got gap on your hook. So, have you guys ever gone salmon fishing in Lake Michigan? Brenda, you need to go check out our channel, I think. Cause you'll, I think you'll enjoy that video. We were on out. We went out of. Uh, where did we go out of for salmon? I don't remember. Algoma, El <coughs> Algoma, Wisconsin. Yeah, we fish. I got my biggest king this year. Is right at about 30 pounds. Kilo 20. Good luck from Indy. Love the show. Hey Kilo, thank you so much. Thank you for being here. Go Cubs. Cubs. Who are they? Are they a soccer team? Good luck from India. You're my favorite YouTuber. Remington, thank you so much, brother. Go Cubs, that's it. Top tactic. Is that the wind blowing? Probably. Put your wind thing on. Yeah, I'll put it on. Give me a second. You guys are mobile streamers. I stream about, I stream a lot on Twitch, and this is very important to have right here. This clips right over your microphone on your phone. Let me put it on first here. Is that better? You doing good, Kilch? Put your wing down, I have it. What's the temp out there? Probably 50 or high 40s and windy. Beautiful. West Virginia has big cats, yes they do. <clears throat> yeah, we can do that. I don't think we'll have a layover, it'll be a one stop, so, but you never know. Got a wind mic? I do. Let me know if it's better. Love catfishing. How's your fantasy football team? I'm not playing fantasy this year, I'm too busy. Can you go bass fishing? Yes, I will. I'll do more bass fishing for sure. I went fishing today, damn near lost my hat and started to rain. Caught four walleyes. Sounds like a tasty day right there. <laughs> what brand of circle brand of circle looks? I run Gamagatsu circles. St. Louis reporting for what's up, Leroy? How's St. Louis, man? I want to go fish it so bad. Um um, what's up, bro? You ever come to East Texas? We were just in Texas, Joanna. Um, we were just south of Dallas, between Houston and Dallas for Alligator Gar. We just put our first Alligator Gar video up from a few weeks ago, so make sure you check it out. Yeah, we go down to Texas just to fish Gar. That's all we fish for. Could you please explain gap on hooks? Thanks, and good luck. Yes. Want to reel yours in quick? This is very important, guys, when you're fishing for channel, when you're fishing anything tight lined with a circle hook. Even if you're not tight lining. All right, guys, so here's what I mean by hook gap. You want to be making sure you got good hook gap. So I don't bury my hook way back here, so the head would be up here. You want this spot open. You want that hook gap. You want that hook gap to be clean, guys. You don't want to fill the entire area with bait, especially if it's especially if it's a big bait. 
with a smaller hook, you don't want to fill that gap, guys. It's important because when they grab the bait, you want them to be able. It's a self-setting hook, so it's sitting in the water like this, right? Laying on the bottom, right here. That fish is going to come up and it's going to grab it. And if you close that gap, the fish can't get its mouth around that gap. And they have pretty big pads in their mouth, so it's really important. A lot of guys, especially in the Missouri River and even for channel cats, will feather hook their bait, which this is about a feather hook. Don't hook it super deep on the hook. Give yourself some good gap. Same thing when I caught my 118 pound blue cat. We feather hooked the bait. And the guys down there told us to do that, and they were right, because those pads on those fish have super big pads on their mouths. You gotta imagine that fish grabbing the bait. You want it to be able to actually get its mouth around that circle so you can hook it in the corner of the mouth. It's really important. It's hard to see after I stare at the light. Good luck from North Carolina, thank you. Hope, 812, hopefully that explained it a little bit. Need to come to Tennessee, we'll be coming there sooner than later actually. Good luck from Arizona, Melissa Outdoor Vlogs. We got an outdoor vlogger, Melissa, welcome to the stream. Thank you. I'll be coming to Arizona, I think, this winter, actually, so welcome to the stream. Come to South... Everyone wants to go somewhere. I, I don't... I have so many trips planned, you guys. I have a trip planned to Alberta to fish for white sturgeon on the Fraser. I still want to go to New Mexico. Um, I, it sounds like now I'm going to Virginia in November. I don't even know what I'm doing anymore, guys. It's crazy. Go Greenwood Bulldogs. What's Greenwood Bulldogs? Cool beans. What's up, dude? What's up, Marcus? How you doing, man? Go Steelers? I don't even know they still had a team. Check that horizon, Jacob. This horizon? Oh, yeah. Look at that. That's pretty neat. What kind of hook should I be using at a pay lake? I have been using... I wouldn't... I would just avoid pay lakes in general and not fish them, to be honest. You'll have better luck not going there. Come to West Virginia, got a hot spot for big flatheads. <laughs> go Kansas City Chiefs. All right, all right. I'll, I'll go with that one. Put more bait on that hook. <laughs> no, no, no. Probably why I suck with circles. Yeah, don't fill that gap, dude. That's super important. Where are them gar at? They're in Texas, man. We're back in Minnesota. We're back in Minnesota. Kilsch didn't tell me that the other day. What a jerk. He's not a very good friend. <laughs> Yeah, hopefully that was some good info. If you guys have any other questions. I don't have my Facebook anymore. Why not? Yeah, where'd you go? You got that sweet beard, don't you? Seven to seven, Luke. What's seven to seven? Come to Texas again? Come on. I want to, dude. I want to go back. I love Texas. I love Texas. Go Vikings. You're dang right, Shipley. Where in Virginia? Um, James River. I just got asked to go yesterday, so... While you're traveling, I'm sneaking into Minnesota. <laughs> I need to join y'all's team. <laughs> What's up, Denver? How's it going, man? Denver's awesome. When are your hats going to be available? You're in Michigan. Hey, if you guys are just in here, we got 132 people, 76 thumbs up. Thank you guys for all the thumbs up and all the support. Welcome to the stream, Northwoods Angling here. We got a full production show on our channel, guys, if you want to check it out. It's not all live stream stuff. What's the biggest catfish you've ever caught? 118 pounds is my biggest blue cat. But the hats should be available hopefully in the next week. That's my goal. I don't know that, but I have a feeling. I'm going to the James River with you. You're coming with too? Jeez, it's going to be a whole boat. What's up from Texas? Lucas, what's going on, man? I miss Texas. I'm already ready to go back. Something cool will be happening next season on the James River. Oh, I know. I know all about it. I'm very aware. Very aware. Yeah, 118. You were close though, Marcus. <laughs> Tommy wasn't laughing. We got an application process, Tommy, if you want. There's like 911 applications active right now. <laughs> Just kidding. Ohio's got some big cats. They do. They do. The only problem with Ohio is uh, taking Ohio fish out of lakes and putting them in pay lakes. That's the biggest problem in Ohio right now. Commercial fishing is a big problem. Someone always asks about the catfish. <laughs> it's, it's 
It's what I want. That's why I have a, I have a command on my Twitch, on my Twitch stream that you can just exclamation point catfish and it'll tell you my biggest cat, so I don't have to answer it all the time. <clears throat> yeah, I got called the other day, Tim. I just heard about it. Someone always asks about the catfish. Well, that put me on top. <laughs> Look what do you use to catch walleye. I use plastics and jigs, man. I don't have any with me right now, but on the river, typically I'm running, if I'm up north at my parents' place, up kind of northern Minnesota more, yeah, I lost like 70 pounds, Marcus. Still going down. Um, <laughs> I know I ain't lying about them. I know, Ohio Catfisher. You know I know. What do you use to catch walleye? Plastics, crankbaits, uh, lindies. It's pretty much all I run for, for walleye. And bullheads. <laughs> bullheads is a secret walleye bait. It's not secret anymore. Looks like you lost some weight. My backyard is the Ohio River and I catch big cats. Yeah, there's still a lot of big cats in there. There's a lot of big cats in there. I don't want to get into a pay lake chat tonight, but you guys all know how we, how we feel about them. Thank you, Marcus. I appreciate that that well you need a kentucky boy on the team <laughs> we're all minnesota right now come out to southeastern utah late spring and let's go slam some striped bass together in lake powell hey jared why don't you message uh why don't you message me on facebook about that that sounds actually kind of fun ty lines from southern ohio what's up ryan how you doing man i'm from cincinnati if you uh the guys want to hook up sometime give me a holler yeah if any of you guys want river guys fish uh fish um in ohio give whisker sticks fishing a contact on the, the old facebook guys i'm from youngstown ohio that's beautiful i've never been to ohio before i've flown over it looked nice looked nice i could hear the banjos from the plane <laughs> six pay lakes within 10 miles dude that sucks i'm sorry for that unfortunately Bad bass and archery, huh? Archery. You guys have any other questions? Uh, let me tell you guys, you got 130 people in here. We're, if you're new to the stream and you just followed today, let me know, guys, in chat. Let me know where you're from and what your favorite fish is to fish for. What's your favorite fish to fish for and what state are you from? Where's the fish? They're down in the river. I, I grew up on the Red River, yeah. My nickname is Red River Luke, so my roots go to the red. Wellston, Ohio. Come to PA to help me get my first walleye. Come to Minnesota, you can get that thing right away. Lafayette, Paul Poe, welcome to the stream. Channel Cats. Good old Channel Cats. Thank you guys for being here. I'll, we almost got 100 thumbs up, guys. Make sure you smash that thumbs up button. Maybe we'll catch one if we get 100. Who knows? Probably not, but. West Virginia flatheads, Donnie, Louisiana catfish, carp, North Georgia. Oh, this is where it gets good, guys. This is what I like to see. Thank you guys for, for doing this. Kentucky flathead, Circleville, Ohio. Wish you, Randy, thank you so much, man. I appreciate that. Louisiana catfish, Ethan says, West Virginia flatheads, Farron, Masson, Pershing, Indiana. Nice. Virginia, blue catfish. What's up, Chunky? Fat Boy Dan's Great Outdoors. What's going on, Dan? What's going on? The legend himself of catfishing YouTube, guys, right there. Fat Boy Dan. Yeah, I'm caught up on chat. How do you catch big flathead cats? Big live baits, man. Fine structure, big old wood. Medium to slow current, not dead current, not fast current. Right in the middle current. Structure. Decent depth, even shallow. Late, the later in the night you get, get closer to those creeks and get closer to that shallow water because those flatheads are going to push those creeks towards the night. And in the daytime, they're usually chilling in their spots. In the nighttime, they're more roaming around for the most part. And they're going up on those flats, going up into the creeks, pushing bait up on the bank, kind of like the long nose guard do, same thing. So it's kind of how I methodize my flathead fishing on the river here. Carp. Union City, Georgia. Beautiful. Beautiful. Live in North Carolina. I like to fish for long nose gar. Awesome, man. Gar fishing's fun. Denver Channel or Tiger Muskie. Nice. 
Good old tigers, man. We'll be starting up musky fishing here pretty quick, Michael. Looks like you have a butt ton of Ohio viewers. There's a lot of Ohio people in here, man. William Shipley, I am only 14 years old. Well, you keep pushing hard, you'll catch that walleye, I promise. Nashville, Maurice, you're from Nashville, huh? Beautiful area. Beautiful area. A little chilly out, guys, not gonna lie. My favorite fish is walleye. In Arizona, we have them in northern AZ. Up by Flagstaff, are you talking, Melissa, or what? I'm gonna be down in the Bullhead City area. I think I'm gonna fish the Colorado. I got a buddy that lives in Bullhead City. Minnesota weather's been biting up. Whatever's biting on the river, yeah, it's crappy out right now. I'm not gonna lie, you guys. <laughs> Getting the boat ready for tomorrow morning, hitting the flooded Wabash River. Well, Dan, brother, good luck, man. Formerly from Dayton, Ohio here. Dayton, Ohio, huh? Indianapolis, Indiana, flat cat. Super greedy. You know Fat Boy Dan then? He's one of like the original, one of the original catfish YouTubers for fishing. He's been around a long time. Any bass upper peninsula? Any bass fishing, huh? I do like bass fishing. I got some new bass rods this year. And I went, I went quite a bit. I'll, I'll be doing a little more bass fishing this year, guys. It's starting to get cold in Tennessee. It's cold up here. I won't see the chat for a bit as I'm watching and getting my boat ready. All right, thank you, Dan. Hey, I wanna know, what is your favorite classic fighting game? Mortal Kombat, A-B-A-C-A-B-B, -A -A -B -B, Blood Code on Sega Genesis. What do you think about the high vis line for night fishing? I just run, it, honestly, to me, it doesn't really matter. I don't care to see my line at night. That's just my opinion on it. It's not that big of a, I don't think it's bad line. High vis. I run high vis yellow power pro. I just got it because I got it. I didn't upper. Yeah, I've I worked in Flagstaff for a little bit. I worked in Phoenix and Flagstaff. I went back and forth for like a month and a half. I love Flagstaff. It's awesome up there. It's a little chilly. Reminded me of Minnesota. What's your favorite fish to catch? Alligator gar in Texas. Ours is my favorite fish to fish for, for sure. Muskie and walleye Ross Lake, Minnesota. What's up, Ron? How's it going, man? Welcome to the stream. Bluegill are used for bait for catfish. I wish we could use bluegill. Can't use them in Minnesota unless you're in a border water. Gotta go. Hey, Sapper Cats, thank you for being here anyways, brother. It's my pleasure having you in here. Hamilton, Ohio. Anthony Hart, thank you for coming. Hamilton, Ohio, huh? Todd Reichardt, St. Louis, Spoonbill. You like snagging Spoonbill? I haven't done it, but I want to do it eventually. People will get a little worked up about the snagging, but it's the only way to catch them, so... <laughs> I've never met him, but I do watch his videos. Okay. I play a little league. Vikings were 4 1 and 4, lose and 1 win. I play for a little league. Vikings were 4 1 and 4. I missed that. 7 to 7. And then it looks like touchdown Vikes. Have you ever fished in South Dakota? I lived and worked in South Dakota for a couple years, yeah. I fished the glacial lakes, all the private ones, many times. What's your favorite setup, Gaston? Are you talking? Are you talking? Thank you for the $5 donation, Whisker Six. I appreciate it. I appreciate it. We're almost to 100 thumbs up, guys. Oh, but yeah, I fished the Glacier Lakes a lot. I, I worked and lived in Aberdeen. So I'd drive to the Glacier Lakes every weekend. Or I'd fish the James River. What's your favorite setup for which species, Gaston? Lucas Smith. Have you ever fished in Oklahoma? I don't know, Jacob, have we ever fished in Oklahoma? I know Oklahoma, Texoma's on the border, so, and I haven't fished Texoma yet. I want to. High school team were four losses and one win. Oh, nice. High school team. Okay, I was so confused. Catfish. My favorite setup is a Pen Fathom LW. If we're talking blue cats or flatheads or channels, a Pen Fathom LW 20, 80 pound braid, and a Tomcat heavy, Tomcat custom heavy rod by far. And I'm not saying that because Tomcat's our rod sponsor. They're amazing rods. Amazing flathead channel. Now they has the new TC2 rods for flathead or for channels and for sturgeon. Can't wait to get mine. What's your favorite fishing line for catfish and pool? Reel setup. My favorite pole is a Tomcat Custom. My favorite reel, Pen Fathom LW, 20 or 25. 
If you run mono, I suggest a 25 LW. They're a little bit bigger, but a 20 LW is perfect for braid guys, even up over 100 pound braid. Um, but yeah, Power Pro is my line of choice typically. I am mobile going across the street. You're coming over here? You know where we're at? Worcester Sticks at the old dam. Hey, I want to know, what is your favorite classic sports game of all time? Uh, NHL 2000, maybe. Or uh, NFL Blitz, possibly. They're both good. Not NBA Jam? NBA Jam, yeah, I, I still play NBA Jam. Probably NBA Jam. He's heating up. You guys played Sega Genesis. You know, I have NBA Jam and Sonic. I play, I still play them. I'm a nerd, so. Still play regular Mario on NES. I do speed runs. I try to break the world record. I've been trying forever. It's hard. Regular Mario. Um, I am. What are you fishing line for cabbage? Okay, I got that. Are you going to crappie fish? Yes. Yes. I don't. I'm. I don't want to talk about Twitch too much, but I'll, I'll be doing more crappie fishing on Twitch. Hopefully, we can do some crappie stuff for YouTube too. But that'd be my goal. I can't record where I go. I don't think. But I don't know. Well, I, yeah, but there'll be more crappie fishing. I think on this channel for sure. One hundred percent. Kixoma has good catfish. Tecmo Bowl. That's what it is. Tecmo Bowl. Texoma has good catfish, but there's a town in Oklahoma called Waruka, Oklahoma. If you can go to that lake, you've got huge catfish there. No, I'm in Tennessee. Oh. <laughs> you should be behind the ballpark in New Miami or Eagles. Man, you guys are talking all different stuff. I don't know what you're talking about. Love the road rash. Talking to me? Justin, what's up, J. Cal? Yeah, Tecmo Bowl is sick. What's up, Walleye Thomas? What's going on, brother? What's going on? Did you tell him he could come out? No, I never texted him. <laughs> we both talked about texting you to come out, Jeremy. Neither, <laughs> neither of us did. I thought he was doing it. He thought I was doing it. Oh, dumb. I'm going to have to get my setup like that and try one. I had friends set up exactly like that. It was amazing. Is there a carp fishing in Minnesota? Oh, I love carp fishing. Yeah. We got some carp shows on our channel, too. I caught my first mirror carp two years, last year, I think it was. 10-7 Vikings, whoop, whoop, skull, baby. I fish ponds, lakes, and creeks five days a week, and I go to Pay Lake once every other week and try to win some money. Don't even support them, Bryce. Don't even go there. It's just giving into it. It ain't worth the money, man. It ain't worth the resource, the natural resource of the catfish. That's just my opinion on it. I don't hate you for going there, but I would never support a Pay Lake, a trophy Pay Lake, especially ones that do money tournaments. That's just me. I've had a lot of good conversations about them with people that do do pay lakes, and I just, when you go into the biology of it, man, it just doesn't work out. There's no win on that end. What stretch of the Missouri River and what state for Flathead? Where did I catch? What stretch of the Missouri River? I was just north of Kansas City, Jeremy, where I caught my big 118 pounder. And what state for Flathead? I just fished Minnesota for flats. I don't know if that's. My favorite classic sports game is Madden and NBA Live 96. Old school. I like that. I like that. I like that a lot. Is that Jake in the back? Say Andrew Schuster says hi from baseball. Jake? Who's Jake? Oh. Jake's in chat. Are you talking to Jake? Jake, are you in here? <laughs> Do you know who that is? I stay behind you. Moonlight, welcome. Oh, yep, there's, okay. Jake, I call him Jacob. I don't know, Jake's weird. I shot a 36 pound mirror carp bow fishing over. Oh, dude, I could not shoot a mirror carp. They're too nice. I probably would, but <laughs> I'd feel bad. I wouldn't want to, I'd want to mount it if I got one that big, dude. Mirror carp are amazing. Amazing fish. Do you play Fortnite? Yeah, I play Fortnite. Of course I play Fortnite. I played yesterday. Or two nights ago. What's the biggest deal about Pay Lakes? I don't want to get into Pay Lakes. Oh. They're taking trophy... Not all Pay Lakes. Trophy Pay Lakes. I'm very specific on Trophy Pay Lakes. 
They take fish out of natural rivers from other states. The Pay Lakes pay these commercial fishermen um, a bunch of money a pound to put these fish, these trophy breeding size fish in their ponds and they get all nasty. They get sores all over them. It's a wasted resource, they end up throwing the fish away. So they're just not good. They're not good for the resource or the catfishing industry. It makes us look horrible. We're classier than that. We're not the uh, old, what people expect catfishermen to be, you know, nasty people. We're, there's a lot of smart people that catfish. There's a lot of people that really care about the species, you know. <clears throat> Done with Pay Lake Talk. What is your opinion on what you use in the river for catfish? What species, Paul? What species are we talking about? Rylan, what's going on, Rylan? Welcome, welcome to the Northwoods Angling live stream. Hopefully, you're having a good night watching the stream with your, say, your son, your dad, your your dad. Hopefully, your dad, you and your dad are enjoying the stream. Sega Genesis, my favorite game was Altered Beasts. Awesome, dude, such a good game. Just Sega Genesis. Channels and blues. I'm pretty much if I'm running for blue cats, I'm fishing for trophy blues. I'm running a a 9 knot HD Charlie Brown hook from Bottom Dollar Tackle all the time, 100% of the time for blue cats. Even for the small, you'll catch them on the small. Uh, I always use those hooks. I snell. I do use 80 pound mono leaders for blue cats. Um, um, for channel cats, I'm going to go to a six out or eight out Gamagatsu octopus circle hook with braided. I don't. I don't really use mono leaders for channels unless I'm fishing rocky or cementy structure because. The thing you, the reason I go from braid to mono leaders, it's very important, right? So the reason I ever use mono leaders, 80 pound to 50 pound mono leaders, depending on what species I'm fishing for, the only time I'm using mono is if there's sharp structure down there. I don't care about wood, I care about cement, brick, rocks. I'm gonna be running mono leaders, right? And that is because braid is a lot more has a lot more abrasion to it, and mono is a lot more abrasive resistant. So you can rub it on a rock. And you still got power in your line. It's not going to just break. If you slice your braid on a rock, it's going to come. It's going to break your line instantly. So you want to, if you're running fishing rockier stuff, um, stuff that can hurt your line and cut your line, you want to be running a mono leader at least, or all mono. Um, I just run um, mono leaders when I run mono. I, I run braid on my on my reel, but that's a big reason why, guys. And you want to snell your mono leaders. Don't tie directly on mono. Snell them. 100% you can do a loose snell. They're easy snells to do. I might do a video on that sometime. Super easy loose snell. Takes two seconds to do. But definitely snell if you're running mono. For sure. What system? I play on Xbox. But it doesn't matter anymore because PlayStation can now play with Xbox as of two nights ago. I'm glad we don't have any. Yeah. Um, I'm about that adipose, guys. Tim knows. Okay, I've heard about that. I'll stay away now. Thanks for explaining that. Yeah, dude. 10 4, 14, 10 Rams. Dang it. That's so dumb. That's so dumb. Louie from Houston, Texas. What's going on, man? We were just down there. Welcome to the stream. What is your favorite rig to use for big cats? What's that look for, Jeremy? Ghosts and Goblins, Victorum, Taz, Earthworm, Jim. Great games. Doing good. I dropped the War Brother name. Letting go, you know. Hey. Welcome to the stream. <clears throat> Louie, hey bro, what's the best bait to, for channel cat? I would say the best channel cat bait in the country is frogs. I've had 300 fish days using frogs with an average of 15 pounds or more. Channel cats. I would say frogs. After, after the spring, once summer hits, frogs. Late midsummer till the fall, frogs. Frogs, frogs. Frogs and more frogs, I'll just say that. Have you ever tried Asian carp for bear? Uh, I've tried Asian carp for silver carp for uh, uh, blue cats, yeah. William O'Mara from William, North Carolina. Welcome to the stream. <laughs> so pumped for wild hockey? Yes. He's got season tickets. Don't you, Dan? Yeah, I split them. 
He splits them. How many you got? Uh, well, we split with four people, so there's you have four each, tickets. About ten each. And ten that's tickets. Six tickets. Oh, six. See, that's six tickets split between four people. So ten games. Ten games, six tickets each. That's not bad. Yeah, you should come. Yeah, um, whenever you invite me, I'm coming. All right. <laughs> that's Manitoba, though. Yeah, that's Manitoba. But it's the same in the States, man. It's frogs and more frogs. It doesn't change because the borders. There's no, that's just an imaginary border, Tal. Just remember that. Borders are, are fake lines. That's, uh, I've actually never used frogs before. Yeah, you need to try it. I've got some hybrid and crappie fishing videos to do. I can locate them. You ever fish in Texas? Yeah, we just filmed a show in Texas. We were just there a couple weeks ago. Alligator gar. Go to our channel. Click on our channel and go check out our last alligator gar video. We have like five other alligator gar videos too. Yeah, I love Texas. We were just there. Zombies ate my neighbors was a jam, was my jam. <laughs> yeah, well, we did a frog focus video. It's called our Manitoba Channel Cat video, Fishing a Dam. You've seen it, Tim. I think that video just hit like 200,000. I don't even know, to be honest. I'm just making that up. The first cold front of the season this weekend, the fishing is going to get better. I think it'll get better once it stabilizes, for sure. What do you think of Mudville rods? No idea what those are. I know what I'm, I know that. I'm not that young. Hey, I'm just saying. You were surprised, like, oh, that's in Canada. Well, it's going to be the same here. Maybe not exactly the same, but similar, especially on the Red River. Best of luck to the sheepdog. What's up, sheepdog? Work is getting in the way of me watching these streams. You tell work to settle down. Is there any certain species of frogs that you do or don't want to use for it doesn't matter? You just know what leopard frogs are stinks. Either one. Either one. I got a big gar on the Trinity. That's where we were. We were on the Trinity filming. Our biggest one was 200 pounds. This year was 200 pounds. Come to Arizona first. I'll be coming to Arizona. I'll be going to the Colorado River. It won't be in northern Arizona, though. Huge play, Rudolph. Yeah! Attaboy, Rudolph. That's probably my favorite video. I meant, like, how I'll go about gathering them for bait. I just grab them with a net. But I can do a frog video next year. It's too late now. But Touchdown, Vikings. Yep, skull. Skull. When are you coming back to the Trinity? Next year. Next year, man. I'll let you guys watch us fish here. This is what, what we're doing. Here. We're just sitting right here. How's it look? You guys want to see a skinny guy get thrown in the river? <laughs> You're almost skinny now. Oh, that would be cold. Oh my gosh, this is horrible. See the current changes here? Well, when the wind's up, it'll push the Yeah, but then it'll straighten out. Yeah. Weird. I'm surprised we haven't got one yet up on this bank. In Arizona, we use water dogs. Oh, water dogs are good too. When are you coming back to the Trinity? Skull. Because Vikings have long hair. <laughs> you know, we never did see the cannonball. Jacobs don't count. I did one. I did one on Twitch, on a Twitch stream, in the Trinity River with alligators and alligator gar. 1614 Vikes. My favorite shooting game of all time was World War II, James Bond, Goldeneye. Goldeneye was the bomb. I tried playing it recently, I have it. Didn't go well. It did not go well at all. It wasn't good, I'll tell you that. Vikes stuck tonight or what? Goldeneye was the best. I can't wait to play the new Call of Duty. I can tell you guys that right now. <laughs> Let's go fishing when you get to Arizona. I plan on doing fishing when I get to Arizona. I definitely want to spend time with my buddy. I haven't seen him, so it's been a long time. No, don't put it in here, Justin. I don't think it would go through. And I don't want to spam that in my 
YouTube video. The bad things can happen to your YouTube channel when you talk about other streaming applications. Just out of curiosity, am I the only one who fly fishes in the chat? I fly fish, Tal. Come on. And you're probably not the only one. There's no way you're the only one who fly fishes in here. Northwoods, did y'all catch anything yet? South outdoors. What's going on in the south now? <laughs> We're struggling. Well, I'm answering questions though. Any species specific questions? Um, I'm here to answer them. I mean, we're not catching fish right now. As you can see the rods back there. They're getting ready. It's just a matter of time. We can only use one rod in Minnesota too, so keep that in mind. And the river's super flooded right now. <laughs> Have you ever tried chunks of salmon? No, I eat salmon. <laughs> Maybe there's no other fly fisherman in here. Maybe it might be just me and you tonight. Kilts, do you fly fish? Nope. He doesn't fly fish either. Good night, guys. Good luck. You guys do great things. Thank you for bringing us. Hey, thank you so much for being here tonight, H812. I appreciate it. Thank you for coming. We got 108 thumbs up on this stream, guys. A little bit of a struggle fishing. It's pretty cold, I'm not going to lie. I'm not sure how much longer I want to stream. <laughs> oh. Hey, I want to know, what is your favorite wrestling game? Mm, no wrestling, man. I used to play one. I don't remember what it was. It was actually fun. I think I was always Lex Luger. Right? Lex Luger. We got any fishing girls in chat? We're looking for uh, um, some advertisement sponsorships from some female anglers. I'm just kidding. It's always nice to see girls that fish, though. There's a lot more dudes that fish. Obviously. Can you explain the light bites for sturgeon? Do you have a constantly watch? We put bells on our rod for that reason. Sturgeon bite lake sturgeon, guys, on the Croy, specifically on the Croy. And parts of the rainy. Dodge Chevy or Ford. I drive a Chevy. I want to show you guys his truck. We took his truck. It's it's a mean, mean machine. If you saw my Snapchat, you saw it. Um how late of the year will flatheads feed? I don't know. <laughs> For a little bit more, and then they kind of go to sleep. What reels do you guys use? Pen Fathom LWs, brother. Pen Fathom LWs. Let me know if you guys want to see the rod. If you guys want to see his rod and reel set up, spam uh, one in chat. I think a lot of you have already seen it, but if there's any new people that want to see the rod and reel and the rig we're using, spam ones. Um... What reels do you guys use? Have you ever fished the horseshoe by Cold Spring? I sure have. I ice fish out there. I'll be going, I'll be doing some shows out there this winter. The light bites, yeah, so Jeremy, light bites for lake sturgeon. Imagine this is the tip of your rod, right? So we run lights and bells. We run bells. So let's say this is clipped on, ouch. Let's say this is the end of the rod, right? And this is the bite. That's the tip of the rod would be like this. That's a sturgeon bite, 100 pound fish, 10 pound fish, it don't matter. They all bite like that for the most part, unless they're running, but you don't usually get that very often. So. You tight line them and when you hear the bell jingle, you just start cranking down on the reel and usually the rod goes straight down to the water if it's a good one. Um, have you fished in the horseshoe? Yeah, the horseshoe chain, I've fished it a couple times. Tate, depending on the region you're around, doesn't mean you can't find flatheads in northern waters in the middle of the winter though. Yeah, you can't find, there's no flatheads here that are feeding in the winter, I can tell you that. I don't know what parts you're talking about. Yeah, this region, no, they all winter here, every one of them. You want know I know that? I'll tell you what, I mean, can't explain it, but I can prove it. I got a 40 plus pound blue on salmon. We use salmon for white sturgeon, actually, William. Like gills and, uh, and rakes, gills and, um, and fins, uh, bottom fins. But yeah, we use salmon for white sturgeon. I think we're, our, our our 330 pound white sturgeon we got last year was on a uh, salmon. I believe it was salmon stomach, possibly. 
What's up, Kentucky? How you doing, man? Welcome to the stream. Oh, I saw someone. What's up, Northwood Bad A Mofos? How you guys give me a shout out? What's up, Brian Harrod? Welcome to the stream. Thank you. Ohio Flatheads winter up, but every once in a while, people still get them in the heart of winter. Yeah, people get them here in the heart of winter when they snag them in their wintering holes. <laughs> it's the only time. We have a close season for flats in the winter for that reason. Um, I think you're in the No Fish River. You're about right. It's flooded right now. Super flooded. The whitefish chain, yeah, yes. ASAP, you have over 4,000 subs and you just started. Who? <laughs> West Texas, are you talking about Ryan? Hello from West Texas. I seen a video evidence of wintering flatheads here. Yeah, my buddy took the video. No, I know they don't, they don't bite here. I caught my 42 pounder, I snagged it in a wintering hole and I felt horrible, it didn't fight at all. I saw your monster bowfin, brother. 12 pound bowfin, huge. Made my eight look like a dink. There's a kid spamming in here? I don't see it. You caught any muku? I don't know what that is. I have you steak on 20 plus blue North Carolina. What's up, Dwayne? How you doing, man? Welcome to the stream. Welcome. I'm not sold they're biting tonight. I'm not sold, guys. The next live stream we do will be sturgeon fishing and we will catch fish. Oh, yeah. Just ignore it. I don't see them, so. They're getting deleted on my end. What's going on, Dwayne? Hopefully you're doing good. Jacob's the mod. I don't know if he's in here or not. If anyone need files, I'll, flies, I'll tie them and sell them to you. Not trying to self-promote, just love. Yeah, no self-promoting in here, Tal. Sorry, buddy. Just kidding. <laughs> if you guys want any good flies, go to my boy Tal. Do you ever trot line or bank pull? No, zero. Rod and reel. It's illegal in Minnesota anyways, but I wouldn't do it regardless. Vikings all day, 17, 14. That's what I like to hear. That's what I like to hear. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I don't hate people that bank pull or trot line. I just, I have no, I don't have any drive to even try it. Zero. I'm a rod and reel guy for sure. What do we have over here? What's up, Chuckles? Chuckles? You should come to North Carolina. So I've been invited to North Carolina, Utah, South Carolina, Arizona, Tennessee, Ohio, Texas, all in one stream. It's getting big. It's it's getting too much. <laughs> we gotta catch a fish, you guys. This is dumb. This is dumb. We gotta catch one. Just so you guys know, after the stream's over, after you guys smash that like button up top right now on the bottom, make sure you guys hit the bell icon and let, notify us when we're when we're gonna go live or when we get a new video. Other than that, though, I mean. Make sure you guys check out our full our full channel. We don't always just do live streams. It's actually pretty rare to do live streams. Uh, the next week will be a gar video again, our second episode from Alligator Gar. Walleye Thomas, if you're in here, we gotta get Jacob some of that footage just in case we got something to use. I gotta give him mine too. Yeah, there's big blues in Gaston. There are. There's 100 plus pound blues in a lot of water, but they're just hard to, hard to catch. I've only seen one triple digit fishing blues and it was the one I caught. Buck Wild, what's going on? Welcome to the stream. Well, welcome to the stream. Where am I at? Maybe Northwood should go visit the Mud Bums and Collab and give the Diddy pull a shot. That would be, a, I mean, I'd try it. I mean, I, I don't know. I just, it's just not, it's just not my thing. I don't hate people that do it. I know a lot of people that Diddy pull. But the ones I'm friends with that run Diddy pulls, Release the trophy fish, the breeding fish. That's what I care about. But there's a lot of them that give a bad reputation to diddy poles and trial lines that keep every fish they get. So that's my thing. But I know those boys are good boys out there. So I like Garrett and I like all those guys. 
what kind of test line are you using? Oh, well, I run 80 pound. I'm running 50 on mine, 50 pound Power Pro. What was that? Tree breaking loose. Really? Yeah, there was trees all oh. under the bridge. That tree just broke in half. Oh. Um, YouTube's just tricky, Primal. YouTube's tricky. Other, there's other ones that are even trickier than YouTube. I'll tell you that right now. Twitch is pretty tough. Any luck tonight? What's up, Brad? No. Well, we're just hanging out in the river right now. It's so flooded and fast. Next stream will be sturgeon, though, guys. You guys get to watch some big sturgeon get caught. So make sure you're subbing for that, guys. I can't guarantee anything on this stream, but... I can't land a flathead. Help me. Set clicker, then bite, then nothing. Set drag type, but PVC pipe, good bite, then nothing. <laughs> it's a <laughs> run cut right now, run cut bait right now in the fall for flats. I would. I like watching your live streams even when you don't get well, Ron. I appreciate that. I appreciate that. I stream a lot. I stream a lot off, off of YouTube, so I do a lot of live streaming. High Rock Lake has three plus pound crappie. That's big crappies. Big crappie. I caught like a four pound bass in a tiny stream because of the high water. That's awesome. Fish go up, man. When the water gets high and it gets fast, they go up in those creeks. That's what I want, a big sturgeon. You're gonna get it. You're gonna get it. What type of hooks? I'm using 8 -oh circles, which run, it's, run six outs, dude. You don't need to run eights. Just run a little smaller bait. Uh, run a six out, tight line them. If you're getting short bites, they're probably not fish you want to catch. That's just my bet. Uh, smaller baits, if they're short biting, that's what I would recommend. You're good, Primal. Sturgeon is on my bucket list. We got a sturgeon tournament here, guys, in a little less than a month, October 20th. Uh, I'll be there. Um, you guys should uh, definitely look into it. It's called uh, Monsters on the Croix. Or Monsters on the St. Croix. It's a sturgeon, individual sturgeon tournament, so you can have as many people in a boat as you want. Biggest fish wins. It's going to be sweet. It's going to be a big one. October 20th. I want to catch my first catfish. Where do you suggest going with the, in this, with this Twin Cities, Finn? Well, that's easy. Just go to the river, man. How does the sturgeon tournament work? It works when you come here, Aaron. King Koopa, you got to get a down, get up here and do it, man. Just throw baits. It's uh, measuring. You take pictures on a bump board of the length, the whole fish. Then you take with the control item, and then you take a picture holding the fish with the control item, and then you submit it. It's easy, super easy. It works really well. Um, if you want to catch your first catfish, where do you suggest going in the Twin Cities area? Well, I'm in the Twin Cities area right now. I would suggest... How far are you from Minneapolis? I'm not very far. <laughs> <laughs> Very close. I would just go fish. Uh, the, wait till the river goes down. Yeah, Aaron, come down and ice fish, man. Sturgeon ice fishing's fun, dude. We can do some catfishing on the ice too. We'll make that happen. We'll do both of them. Using that meat sauce. The meat sauce, huh? Um. Uh, if you were in the cities, I'd go to the Minnesota or Mississippi River. I'd probably do the Minnesota River. Find a walking path, kind of walk along it. Make sure you're not standing on edge of cut banks because they collapse. Find an isolated area on the shore and throw out a piece of cut bait. Cut sucker, put, throw out a bunch of fatheads on a hook. Um, if you want to really get down to the details, you can message me on Facebook if you want to know where to catch a cat in Minneapolis. I do a lot of it here. I'm dying to come up and ice fish. Yeah, you need to come up. It's cold, man. It's sturgeon season hooked. It's sturgeon season. I might hit you up next weekend to find some free time there from the 5th. You'll be here the 5th to the 8th? Do it, dude. Let's go fishing. I'll take you out. I'll take you out. Circle or J-hooks, and what do you recommend? If you're, What are you fishing? Are you fishing for trying to fish channel cats, Ryan? Or flats? I would run if you're running if you're running cut bait run circle hooks all the time. That's my opinion. I would still run circles at least eight dots, eight or ten knot for flatheads. 
But now you could might want to throw it a live bait too if you can with a J hook and run your clicker. Don't tight line that. This needs to focus. There we go. Now we're good. Touchdown Rams. Well, that sucks. All right. We got 105, 119 thumbs up. You guys, I think I'm going to end the stream here. It's getting chilly out. You can almost see my breath now. Fishing's horrible. I don't want to make you guys dread any longer, and I want to go home and relax. It was a long day at work. I'm just telling you that right now. Would you be able to do a special order for a Northwoods hoodie? Uh, you'd have to email northwoodsangling at gmail.com to find that out. I'm not 100% sure if they would or not, or if we would or not. How do I find you on Twitch? I'll let someone in chat tell you that. I don't want to talk about Twitch on YouTube. But um, other than that, guys, thank you for being here tonight. Hopefully you guys learned something. If you Hopefully I answered some questions. Um, Hopefully I answered some questions, and uh, hopefully you guys go check out our channel. Please do. Please do. Please check out our channel. We got videos from all over the country on there. Uh, Jacob does a lot of work in our editing, so um, hopefully, hopefully you guys had fun tonight. My eyes hurt from the light shining on them. Um, if you guys have any questions for me, specifically, you can message me on the Facebook. <laughs> You can find my name on our YouTube channel. It's on there. I promise. You'll find me. Uh, other than that, fish on, guys. You guys have a wonderful, wonderful evening. Thank you guys for being here. And don't forget, our apparel is at our site. Northwoodsangling.com backslash shop. Yeah, you're always late, knife guy. Thank you for coming, though. And we'll talk to you guys sooner than later, I promise. We'll see you soon. Bye.